services like the transport, hotels, uh, all the singing, uh, that's all services. Then, ICT, that's fourth sector. So we are telling you, Bargare, we have to tell the youth, the youth, I was with the youth in Kororo, the Muslims, the, the Vazukuru of Hadija, that's where I'm coming from. Everybody must join one of these sectors, either as an entrepreneur or as a, a worker, doesn't matter. Even if you don't own the factory, but you go and work there and you are paid a salary. So this is what we have advised. But somehow the leaders are not clear. They just go for other things. They go for barriers. They think this is politics. 
barrios, then church, you are not a priest, but you're going to sit there the whole day. Uh, okay, you can go there, but that's not the solution to, uh, to, to, to your people's needs. Then, uh, uh, then they make another mistake of, of trying to use their small money to give money, 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 money which is not based on, on wealth creation. So they end up with debt. So really, the, the mission of you, the leaders, is simple. Number one, implement the NRM plan for wealth creation, wherever you are. If you do that, you will have even done mobilization. Because when people have got income and, and, and food, <laughs> they are mobilized. This is the real mobilization, the real mobilization which is stable. Not the one of excitement, the one of real mobilization. Mobilization by people being satisfied. When people they are satisfied, they are mobilized. Like when I, in the cultural corridor, because I, that's why I started my work in the 1960s. Whenever I go there, they give me gifts because they have, they have income, they have money. Uh, the other time during the campaign, they give me 800 cows. I was campaigning, but they give me 800 cows. So it will change. If you implement our programs, the villagers will stop begging from you. They will now give you, give you whether you want or not because they, ha they have a surplus from their own fa families. So this is really number one. Implement, wherever you are, NRM, wealth program, wealth creation programs. And the money is there. The money, there is the Mioga money, there is the PDM money, there are other monies like UDB money. The money is, is there now. I was at Kololo launching the Islamic banking uh, which is now another new, it's not government money, that one, but it is money for, uh, for, for which the Muslim Sharia people can use. So this is number one. Number two, fight corruption. Uh, because corruption is a big, 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 it's a distorter. Uh, it's stealing the government money, giving the wrong contracts, uh, the, 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 this uh, undermines a lot of, 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 of effort. So if you do those two, then of course you can also have advocacy to explain that can be added. But the real, real solutions are wealth creation and fighting corruption. If you do that, 80% of the work will be done. The other one is just a congregation, just adding your. So I congratulate you uh, and I wish you good luck. Have they had lunch? Uh, so we can go outside for a group photograph and then uh, Thank you.